For today's lesson, we'll be working on IT3 or Unit 3, which is your theory unit of work. And we'll be looking at Topic 4, Working with ICT. Now, Topic 4, Working with ICT is subdivided into three subtopics. And those are teleworking or telecommuting, code of conduct, and the difference between the legal and moral issues in ICT. This topic should take us around three lessons plus a little bit of personal study time or a bit of homework time to finish anything that wouldn't be finished within the normal hours lesson time. So today we'll be looking specifically at teleworking or telecommuting, which is the first subsection. The first page here is just a bit of an overview of the topic and then just gives you a brief explanation of the three subtopics. All of this information is repeated within the topics themselves and there's no requirement for you to do anything at all with this page. As I've said, it's just a bit of an overview. So if we go to the teleworking or the telecommuting page, this page should have already been set to you as an assignment by your teacher. If it hasn't been and you're working on this during the lesson time, then just use the chat facility on the side to send your teacher a quick message and they should be available during the hour designated lesson hour. So they should be able to rectify that for you straight away. If you're working on this outside of the lesson time, then drop your teacher a quick chat message anyway and they will be able to rectify that for you as soon as they can. OK, so teleworking or telecommuting as it's sometimes referred to. Um, if we have a look at this first section here, this is the section from the WJC specification. So you can see we've got topic four working with ICT. We've got our first subtopic remote working or teleworking. Teleworking can be defined as working from home using computer networks. That slightly varies in terms of the definition of telecommuting. Um, however, for the purpose of this topic, we can treat them um, as the same thing. Now, if you think of the word commuting, commuting means um, how we travel back and forth to our place of work. Um, and telecommuting just means how we are getting the information um, back and forth and transferring the information or communicating the information in the way that we need to. But as I said, for the purpose of this topic, just treat teleworking and telecommuting as the same thing. We also need to know um, how we would use teleworking to work from home and any associated pieces of hardware that we need. For example, we would use video conferencing to communicate from home or to work from home. And um, then we would talk about the hardware that we would need to allow us to video conference, for example, a webcam and um, a computer or a laptop. Um, if we've got a desktop PC, we might need a keyboard or we would need a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor and so on. But we'll look at that in more detail later on. Um, we're then looking at advantages and disadvantages of teleworking for both the organisation or the company or the employer, as they're often referred to, and to the individual, the person, the worker or the employee, as they're referred to. And then we'll look at global accessibility and also mobile working. So the first part of this page talks about telecoding and um, discusses how since the pandemic, you might have noticed that a lot more people are now working from home. Your first job is to watch a video on telecommuting. Now it is a long video, it's 28 minutes long, which does mean that some of the tasks are going to take you a little bit of personal study or homework time to complete or are likely to take you a bit of personal study time or homework time to complete. But I would advise that you watch this video from start to finish. OK, it will talk about um, the processes of telecommuting, things that we need access to, software that we might need to. And then as we go on later and um, complete some of the tasks below, the things that have come up in this video should then prompt you to think about um, the things that you would need in order to perform these tasks. So it is a, ho a helpful video. I'd like you to pause this video now and go and watch this video and then come back to me and pick up once you've done that. 
So now you've watched the video above, you should have a little bit of an idea of how you might have to or need to set up a remote desktop from home to allow you to telework and or tele uh, telecommute. Um, you've also looked at how you might need a VPN, which will allow you to access all of the files and folders and resources that you have access to at work to allow you to complete your job effectively. Now, what we need to think of is the actual physical pieces of equipment or hardware that we need to allow us to do this. So our first task is to download or work directly onto the document here. I don't mind how you do it. You can work here if it allows you to, and you can do so effectively. So if you double click, you can actually work within these boxes. If you prefer to actually download yourselves a copy of the document and have a local copy there, then by all means do. If you do that and you work on the Word document, which I'm guessing will be most people's preference, then make sure that you obviously firstly save your completed version and then either upload this to the assignment and turn it in at the end. Or if you prefer, you can actually insert your document so you can remove the original document, which I won't do. But if you were to press delete, you could um, remove that and then you can insert your own file as a printout and if you insert it as a printout any information that's on the document would actually appear on your copy of this teleworking page. Okay so once you have downloaded a copy or you've decided how you're going to work on this task then think about the actual physical things that you would need to allow you to work from home. So how are we going to um, actually complete our work? And then if you also think about um, what physical equipment you would need to allow you to connect to the internet so that you can communicate um, this work. So if you pause this video here and then complete the task and again come back to this video once you've completed this task. So you should now have completed this first task and hopefully you will have discussed things such as a laptop or if you don't have a laptop then you need a desktop PC. If you had a des uh, desktop PC you'd also then need a monitor to go with it. You need a keyboard, you need a mouse. Um, if you're video conferencing or having online meetings, then you'd need um, some form of webcam if there wasn't one built into your computer to actually access the um, internet to allow you to communicate. You'd need a router and there are lots of other things you could have mentioned, but hopefully those are along the lines of the pieces of hardware that you will have um, described in that task. So if you move down to the next task, the next task is to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of telecommuting and these or teleworking and these have been split into the advantages to the employers or to the organization and the disadvantages and then the advantages to the employees or the workers and then the disadvantages. So the sort of things that you might discuss here, advantages to the employers or to the business of allowing you to telework would be that they don't need um, such a large office space because they don't have all their employees working at the same time. If they've got smaller office spaces, then they would have a reduction in utility bills, things like their lighting, their heating, and so on. They might have um, fewer staff actually taking sick days. So if a, a member of staff or employee is sick or unable to work, then instead of calling in sick and then not doing the work for that day, they would just do the work when they felt better in their own time. Um, some things like disadvantages to the employee, you might discuss, uh, employer, sorry, or the organisation, you might discuss things like um, you're unable to actually monitor what the um, your members of staff are doing, so you're not able to know how they're exactly using their time. You wouldn't really know how much of their time that they're using to do the work. Um, advantages to the employees or to the workers. You can work around your 
family life so you don't have to work from nine until five a conventional office time or office hours um some disadvantages to the employee or to the worker um are that you might find it difficult to have a home life balance there may be too many distractions when working at home and there are lots lots more okay use the internet to help you use a little bit of your common sense and your own general knowledge to help you and also think about some of the things that you saw in the initial video at the top of this page and those might um, prompt you also to think about some advantages and disadvantages of teleworking. Once you've completed this task again you can either upload it to the assignment and submit the two tasks with the finished assignment or if you want to work directly onto this page that's fine or if you want to download it and then remove the original and upload this one as a printout so your version is visible on this notes page then that's entirely up to you.